Hotzi the Iceman was discovered in 1991 in the Utztal Alps, on the border between Austria and Italy, by German hikers. Ever since, he has been the subject of numerous studies, turning Otzi into arguably the most scrutinized human being in history. These studies have revealed a portrait of life 5,300 years ago in the Copper Age. His 61 tattoos, arranged in lines and crosses on his lower back, legs, and wrists, are believed to have served as a primitive form of acupuncture, likely to alleviate joint pain or arthritis. His clothing was a masterpiece of ancient craftsmanship, leather leggings, a loincloth, a goatskin coat stitched from the hides of different sheep and goats, a bearskin cap, and shoes insulated with grass for warmth, all meticulously designed to protect against the alpine cold. Analysis of his stomach contents revealed his last meal, ibex, red deer, and einkorn wheat, an early domesticated grain, suggesting a diet that bridged the traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle with the emerging practices of early agriculture. His genome showed he was lactose intolerant, meaning he couldn't digest dairy, had a genetic predisposition to cardiovascular disease, and carried ancestry tied to Anatolian farmers who migrated to Europe around 7000 BC. His ensemble of tools and weapons also revealed he was an experienced outdoorsman. He carried a copper axe and a quiver containing 14 arrows, though only two were finished and ready to fire. He also carried a flint-bladed knife with an ashwood handle, a yew longbow that was still unfinished, and two birch bark containers. Most hauntingly, Utzi's death was no accident. An arrowhead lodged in his left shoulder revealed he met a violent end. Just when it seemed the Iceman had given up all his secrets, a new revelation in his story is opened, one that challenges our very understanding of human evolution. For a long time, scientists assumed that the slender, graceful ribcage of modern humans was a derived or unique trait that set us apart from our more robust predecessors, such as the stocky Neanderthals or the ancient Homo erectus. The rib cage, or thorax, is the bony structure formed by the ribs, sternum, and spine, protecting the heart and lungs while enabling breathing and supporting the upper body. And this view, rooted in early reconstructions of fossils like the Nariokotomi boy, a 1.5 million year old Homo erectus skeleton from Kenya, posited that Homo sapiens evolved a lightweight, graceful body plan, possibly to enhance efficient locomotion or maintain an upright posture for long distance travel. But a groundbreaking 2025 study in communications biology has dismantled this narrative with Utzi's rib cage at the heart of a paradigm shifting discovery. The researchers reconstructed Utzi's rib cage using advanced 3D digital modeling and geometric morphometrics, a scientific method that quantifies the size and shape of anatomical structures by placing precise landmarks on digital scans and analyzing their spatial relationships. Reconstructing Utzi's rib cage was a complex endeavor. The ice that preserved his body for 5,300 years also distorted his ribs, bending them dorsoventrally, toward the back and belly, due to his prone position in the glacier. The result was a digital model of Utzi's rib cage, larger and more barrel-chested than those of many modern humans, with a wider lower chest and narrower upper chest, yet retaining the globular shape characteristic of Homo sapiens. This ambiguous thorax, as the researchers described it, was neither fully slender nor massively robust but a unique adaptation for Utzi's life of seasonal alpine transhumans. Utzi lived around 3,300 BC during the Chalcolithic period, a transitional era when Europe saw the rise of copper tools alongside stone ones. His lifestyle involved seasonal alpine transhumans, a practice where people moved between lowlands and highlands with the seasons. In spring and summer, Otzi likely traveled to high alpine areas above 3,200 meters to hunt or herd, retreating to milder valleys in winter to escape the harsh cold. This demanding lifestyle required a body capable of enduring thin air, where oxygen levels drop due to lower atmospheric pressure, freezing temperatures that could plummet below minus 10 degrees Celsius, and long treks carrying heavy loads including his copper axe, flint dagger quiver of 14 arrows, and birch bark containers for carrying supplies. His ribcage, with its larger size and barrel-like design, enhanced lung capacity to support deeper breathing in the oxygen-scarce air of the Alps, where physical exertion demands more oxygen. It also helped retain body heat during frigid alpine nights, aligning with Bergman's rule, an ecological principle stating that animals in colder climates tend to have larger body sizes to minimize heat loss by reducing surface area relative to volume. Yet its globular shape, wider at the base and narrower at the top, unlike the flatter, wider thoruses of Neanderthals, ensured metabolic efficiency in the warmer lowlands, where excessive bulk could lead to overheating. This made Otzi's ribcage a versatile compromise for a man who lived between two worlds. 
Although Etsy's unique rib cage helped him survive the harsh alpine environment, unfortunately for him, it could not save him from his violent end. Forensic evidence paints a grim picture. An arrow struck his left shoulder, severing the subclavian artery and causing blood loss, although recent studies have shown that the blood loss was minimal and likely not fatal. Instead, he fell, became incapacitated, and froze to death. But in a twist of fate, his violent end led to the remarkable preservation of his body, ultimately helping scientists uncover a new theory of evolution that challenges the idea of a single, uniform human body type and instead highlights how our species is physically adapted to different climates and lifestyles. To support this theory, the researchers made comparisons to other ancient individuals, which revealed a spectrum of Homo sapiens adaptations. Naslet Cater, 38,000 years old from Egypt, had a small cylindrical rib cage suited for heat dissipation in an arid climate, reflecting a life of intense labor, possibly mining chert. Ohalo, 23,000 years old from Israel, also had a slender cylindrical thorax, adapted for foraging in the temperate Levant. Dolny Vistanis XIII, 30,000 years old from the Czech Republic, possessed a massive rib cage, nearly as large as the Neanderthals but wider, built for heat retention during the last glacial maximum. The Neanderthals Kibara II, 60,000 years old, and Shanidar III, 50,000 years old, had stocky, flat thoruses for cold climates, while the Nariokotomi boy, a 1.5 million year old Homo erectus, had a robust juvenile ribcage. These comparisons show that Homo sapiens ribcage morphology varies with climate, unlike the uniformly slender bow plan, the structural or skeletal blueprint of an organism, once assumed with Utzi's intermediate thorax reflecting his unique alpine adaptation. The findings from this study change how we understand human evolution. Scientists used to believe that all Homo sapiens evolved with a slim body shape, or bow plan, but Utzi's ribcage proves that's not true. His body, along with other ancient fossils, shows that human rib cages came in different shapes and sizes depending on factors like climate, lifestyle, and ancestry. This suggests that similar body shapes can evolve in different ways, possibly due to diet, hard physical work, or random genetic changes. These discoveries open up new questions about how climate, genetics, and daily life shape the bodies of our ancestors. The story of Utzi, which began as a curious tale of a frozen mummy, has evolved into a profound lesson in human evolution. His story, and those of the other ancient individuals studied alongside him, tells us that there is no single blueprint for a Homo sapiens body. Our species has always been a mosaic of forms, shaped by the diverse climates and lifestyles we have encountered throughout our long history. Slender rib cages, it seems, are not a defining feature of our species, but rather one end of a wide spectrum of human variation. As more studies are conducted, Otzi will no doubt continue to reveal new secrets about our past. His frozen body, preserved for over five millennia, remains one of the most extraordinary time capsules ever discovered. Thanks for watching. If you found this video fascinating, you can like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. Farewell.